Ladies and gentlemen, we get things started with a heavyweight championship contest. Let's first welcome to the ring from South Africa, Kevin K.O. Kid Lorena. Mixed emotions for Kevin Lorena as he makes his way to the ring on the biggest platform he's ever had, Mike. His mother passed away, unfortunately, just a couple of days ago, and he posted on social media that he's gonna carry her warrior spirit. You raised a lion. Please rest peacefully in God's kingdom. And now let's welcome to the ring from Australia, the undefeated Justice Hooney. Unbeaten, eight wins, no losses, four coming by knockout. And Barry, this is his opportunity to showcase himself on a massive stage in front of a global audience. Yes, it is. You know, he was a top-class amateur. He's been fantastic as a professional so far. Lovely movement he has. He has you know, good power as well. You know, he's an aggressive fight, lots of throw, lots of punches. And this sort of platform is perfect for his style. I've been really, really impressed with Hooney. I like the way he shifts side to side with his feet. For a big guy, he moves so quickly. He's got very good variation. He's got a good defense. And that all stems from his good amateur pedigree. I mean, he, he is a force to be reckoned with. He's in a division here, Todd, where this is starting to look for new stars. And he's got the talent and the desire to be one of those. It's South Africa versus Australia. This would be a great rugby final. Instead, it's the first fight of the night to start our main card. Hooney undefeated. A lot of buzz around this man right here. He certainly looks the part, doesn't he, Barry? No, he really does. You know, he ticks a lot of good boxes. He's technically very good. And as Dan was saying, he moves out those feet really well around the target. It makes him a hard man to hit clean. Hooney in the white. Kevin Lorena in the black. See, Hooney just trying to set him up there for a counter attack, but Lorena, with all that experience, anticipating that. Straight left hand from the south, Paul Lorena. He's off to a quick start like he did against Dubois. I like that from Hooney just a second ago. There. Just a little bit of bounce to his step. And, and you can't do that for the entirety of the fight, but just early in these rounds now, just to take away the momentum from Lorena, get that, back, that bounce back to your step. And then, just, and then just land with those clean shots, just make Lorena miss. On the start line, oh, uh, sorry, uh, quick, quick left hand quick there. Step up. Let's see They've if, both done that. See if Lorena can do something with it here. Nice uppercut, and Hooney's really facing some adversity here in round two. On Wednesday, you know, oh, 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 and Hooney's legs now seem to be in trouble. His foundation is gone, Barry. Yeah, he's all over the place here. He doesn't know what to do, he doesn't know what to hold on. He's trying to walk Lorena down here, but he's got to get on his toes, he's got to hold him and turn him. He's doing the right thing, Lorena, as well. He's throwing the, the hooks wide as well, and they're catching Hooney around the side of the head. It's a lovely shot. Is this the moment for Lorena? He couldn't do the job against Dubois. Let it slip through his fingers. That's better from Hooney there. He put Lorena on the, on the, back to the rope. Good right. Hooney telling us I'm a smart boxer. I know how to get out of the way. But through two rounds, Barry, he hasn't gotten out of the way a lot, has he? And you can see it here now. That was a good little turn there, a little pivot there from, from Hooney this round and the half of the last round. I think he got his, really got his act together. Boxing really well. And even though he's walking, he's being walked back to the rope, he's inviting it, but then as soon as he's... He's back and he touches that rope, he does a little pivot, a little turn, and he's back into the center of the ring. Yeah, he's carrying really well on the back foot. But he still doesn't need to be there, does he? Rita seems to be slowing down, Mike. What do you see? Yeah, I thought during the last round, when he came out quite busily in this fourth round I thought it looked as though maybe he'd taken the third round off but it looks as though those exertions of the first couple of rounds might really be starting to tell it will like we've been saying take a lot of energy out of those legs good straight right down the pipe from Hooney he's busier and having more success and it might be the, the issue oh, 
He's got a little momentum here, Lorena, as Hooney, again, as much as he moves, can become stationary like a statue just like that. But I would say one thing, it takes a while to get rid of that, that you don't want to get rid of your amateur ability, but that, that amateur style of being light on your feet and maybe you know, looking to be a, a natural counter puncher. And I think sometimes, you know, just the transition is longer for others than it is for, a good for some than for others. A good little spell here for Hooney, who now sees blood coming out of his opponent's nose. Two. Yeah, look, he's not a concussive puncher, Hoody, so this is what he needs to do. Throw punches and bunches. Vary the levels with the shots, but just keep going, three and four. Step away, either side, then go again. This, keep keep this going. That was lovely there from Hoody there, right up right to the body. He doesn't have to retreat. That right hand, that nice. split the guard. That was a lovely shot. It was a left to the body as well that made the, the guard go wide and he found the, the target with the right hand better. This is better from Hooney. Yeah, it might be his best round. Yeah, no, it is by far. a really good round there from Hooney. Just showing some lovely variety in his work here, just as Hooney. Again, being the aggressor, he's had a better round being the aggressor. He, he didn't go all guns blazing, but he, he picked the shots really well, but he kept that front foot in the center of the stand there of Kevin Arena. Put pressure on him, use that naturally physical size. And also the variety and the, the angles he could throw the punches from. And now as you see, we all oh, have to straight, left hand, sorry, mate. He's only 24. And Hooney uh, trying to play it off, Perry saying, come on in, give me another one. Maybe the best punch since round two for Kevin Lorena. We see the face spreading a little bit. Lost balance a little there. And his britches are falling down in the back. We, sorry, you may know that his britches are what we call them in Alabama. We got you, mate. We got you. All right, but look at this. Lorena, again, nice little flurry. Close rounds. The judges are going to have their work cut out for them. And now both of these men seem to be having some intensity, some urgency to themselves. It really could hang in the balance these last three rounds. You know, I think it, I think it is. I think, I think Hooney's just, just slightly nudged ahead after winning that last round, which was close, but I thought he didn't have to win. That's a real box to tick. Obviously, Mike, the most obvious example of switching up your normal style was Muhammad Ali against George Foreman. His energy seems zapped. Yeah, I think, and that's why he's trying to you know, buy his time, trying to pick his moments when he has a bit of energy to let his punches go, whereas before, he would react to everything. Oh, big left hand there from Hooney. And the so-called self-described smart boxer seems to be looking for a knockout. So that's a kill on the number one of these cards. Oh, oh, my word! Oh, no! Can you believe this? His career is flashing before us. seconds to go. That was the chance. That was the spot. Hooney still doesn't look right, Darren. Oh, he's got to let his hands go. Don't wait. You've got a minute to go. Kevin Lorena, leave it all in the ring. He got the legs. They're gone of Hooney. Lorena's going to whip one to the body, then we'll right over the head again. The crowd <laughs> imploring Lorena to go forward. His corner screaming at him. 44 seconds to go. He hasn't got the energy, I don't think, Lorena. He hasn't got the energy left. Unbelievable. Oh, he caught him again! This would be one of the oh. great finishes we've seen in years in heavyweight boxing! 30 seconds! His legs are gone, uh. His legs are gone. Lorena just got to hit him with two, three solid shots here. Incredible. Incredible stuff. He's got. He's still got time. He needed a knockdown, most likely. He's so close to getting it. But Lorena virtually fell into him as well. He too is exhausted. What a final round. What a performance for Kevin Lorena. Probably in a losing effort, but Darren, you're giving him a standing ovation, aren't you? Ah, uh, that, that, that was something else. That really was. That was such a brave effort in that final round there. He landed a big shot. Like the guy said, didn't quite have it in the tank to close the show. Mike, have you ever seen anything like that? That was a tremendous turnaround. And we know how little Lorena had left because of how little he followed up those successes at the beginning of the round. The legs were completely gone. 
You see the shot again. He was just leaning on the ropes, waiting. Oh. It's the left hand. I was asking for that left hand. And you can see he's obviously feeling the pace as well, Hooney, and the legs completely go. He is absolutely gone there, but they really just couldn't find that one clean shot, could he, just <laughs> to finish it? He threw a good uppercut there, to be fair. What did he need to do when he had him backed up? He's whipped one across the body, and then come right over the top there with the right hand. And that in, might have very well been good night. In his third fight against Riddick Bowie, Vander Holyfield dropped Bow and couldn't finish him. He said, I simply just couldn't find one more punch. I was completely spent. And he said he thinks about it every day of his life, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Both judges, Michael Alexander and Kieran McCann, are in agreement. They both scored the same, 96 to 94. And Judge Howard Foster scores it, 98 to 92. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBO Global Heavyweight Champion, Justice Hooney! Yeah, the, the right man has got the, the nod on the scorecards there.